Hello everyone, Jerry Cherry Pa here, and today I have the FN LS Edge 9mm. This MSRP is $14.99. Let's see what you get for the money. So uh, this is a mass production competition style pistol. Um, that's what the L it has a long slide. That's what the LS stands for, long slide. So you get a five inch barrel. And the edge is for to give you that little competitive edge in your competitions. Uh, FN says they took a couple years designing this pistol and they got input from two guys. One was a competition shooter and one was like a army a special forces guy. So they try to do a blend of everyday tactical needs at the same time competition style shooting. So and this is what they came up with. Um, so. You know, first of all, the first thing that grabs everyone's attention is the two tones. You got the black polymer frame, and then the upper part is a what they call the graphite color PVD finish. It stands for physical vapor deposition. So what that does is instead of like your most your guns have a Cerakote finish, which is like a really thick paint that scratches and rubs away over time, they actually have the material. It is um, in a vacuum tube or however the process they do it, and it infuses the material the it infuses the paint job or whatever into the material that you want it in so it's a much thicker bond it's a much stronger bond it's very very scratch resistant versus a Cerakote gun where if you scratch it it literally is a scratch this one right here if you try to scratch it it will not scratch because or it's a lot more prone uh, resistant to scratching because it is actually engraved into the metal, like infused in the metal. So one of the features of that is it's a little more slicker than your traditional metals. It is a little, some guns, I've seen some that were so slippery, it felt like glass. This one doesn't do that though, it's pretty nice. Um, it does have a uh, lightened cut, not lightening, lightened. So what it does is, um, the problem with a lot of your competition style guns that are they're so front heavy because they have such long slides and barrels and by the time you start adding attachments and whatnot the front starts to pull down so they cut out some metal material in the metal to help reduce the weight so it's more balanced and also when you're shooting when the slide is going back and forth if you get less felt recoil because you don't have such a heavy object slinging backwards towards you it is ambidextrous so you have your little slide stop on that side magazine release and then the um slide stop is also on this side and you have a reversible magazine the um, gun features some um, aluminum magazine well and also the magazines got some uh, little they're a little bit weighted down with the bottom piece there so uh, in your competitions when you want to do the quick reload you want the magazine to drop fast so it drops out fast they give you three magazines in the box and um, for your regular states they give you three 17 rounders and for your um, restricted states to give you three 10 rounders. It does have a flat trigger and they say it breaks at about 90 degrees and it has their special, I think they call it conical shaving or something on the striker fire. Basically it just means that this has one pound less of um, trigger pull. So your traditional striker fire pistols are about six pounds to pull the trigger. This one takes about five pounds. Just a nice straight Pretty short reset. He's ready to fire again. Um, it is a competition setup, so very fast firing. They have cutouts on the top for your optics. So um, in the box, they give you four different plates for your for your most popular style optics, and um, they give you black rear sights and a fiber optic green front sight. And it has this weird looking um, protector around the rear sight, which not really necessary, but when you take this plate off to put your optics on, then these two little wings on the side will disappear. So you just have your traditional black rear sight. So don't worry about that if you think it's weird looking, that goes away. Um, they do have some serrations on the back of the slide and also the front too, because these things are cut out, they also have some little serrations built in between the cutouts so you can grab it from the back or the front easily. It has a rail on the bottom so you can add your favorite lights and lasers and whatever else. They come with two back straps in the box so one is already attached so you get one more. 
It comes with a soft little carrying case, kind of like a range bag from FN. And the, um, the magazine release is kind of a little weird. So like, they designed it, their 509 series to be like for the military. So a lot of military people, when you're wearing them, like against your body, you would accidentally press the magazine if it release if it was sticking out too far. So you would drop your mag or get loose. And then in a combat situation, you'd get one shot because you had one chambered and that's it. So they have this little bump above it. So in a normal situation, like against your body, you're not going to press it easily, but you can still press it. Like, you know, when you're in a shooting like competition, just, it's still easy enough to press. I've seen some people complain that they can't break their grip, which I don't have that problem. So I can just move my thumb down and press it. It does feel a little weird. Like, I don't know, it feels like I'm having to use a lot more strength in my wrist to do it, so I still would prefer to do this. It just, doing this little motion kind of feels better than have, with a traditional gun, having to break it all the way and do that. I can keep most of my fingers there and transition back and forth. And it, again, it does have a magazine. Which I need to see. It does have a magazine well that's a little flared out but not the craziness so you see it's still pretty flush so the problem with a lot of the competition guns is they have like a sticking out well like that far so when you put it against your body it's digging in your body so this gun is overall flush and the mag excuse me the magazine well is still a little angled so when you put it in there for your quick reloads as long as you get it in somewhere it'll help guide it in the front so overall just a really high quality production gun for 1500 range without spending four or five thousand dollars like some of the competition people do for custom setups it's pretty good value thanks for watching everybody be sure to hit that subscribe button thumbs up i'll see you in the next one